the original Half-Life 500 megabyte game. We. Oui. I'm about to create a resonance cascade. Gordon. Good done. Look what you've done now. On the Service Pro 3. Oh, shizzle. Little suckers. Unforeseen consequences. So today we've got Windows 10 running on two Surface Pro 3 tablets and these come from Microsoft so they are an i5 processor in these things with 4 gig of RAM and 128 gig of storage and we're just playing about with Windows 10 and so far we are actually really really impressed with the operating system. It seems to be quite user friendly and easy to use. So we're enjoying Spartan browser, we think it's pretty darn good. Spartans. It seems to be pretty fast, yeah it's working well really quick so if I want to go browse to a site let's say PBC here in the UK it's pretty darn slow I mean fast at getting to the internet except it loses your reading list da -da 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 -da. I mean, what is that? so you've lost your reading list <laughs> the operating system works very very well it is good um, it's great for everything so like Steam, multitasking, Hyper-V and the store you know, it is pretty darn good. Talking of Hyper-V, oh. we have a little experiment. <laughs> so let's go and play with Linux Ubuntu. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. I can't wait to see how well it runs on this tablet. <laughs> <laughs> it's very special. It's very fist. It's fest. Mm. Uh, right, so now it's booted up. Um... What do we do with it now? What can it do? Plus, plus. That's embarrassing. <laughs> the integration stuff isn't working. Okay. <laughs> Your connection's not trusted. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if I want to go to the, the BBT's website, let's say, like I was just one second ago on Spartan Browser, if I hit return on that, what should I do? This connection is not trusted. Well, open office. You just click on the the tile here, do we? <laughs> on the docker. Libre Office. Libre. The plastic. Libre Office is quite good. Oh, super speed. <laughs> yes, I'll be with you in a minute, Jake. <laughs> super efficiency. Yeah, that works pretty well. That's pretty good. Yeah. 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 Um, so what else can you do with it? Uh, yeah, um, it's a free operating system. That's pretty good. It is, it's, uh, How do you close? Oh, you click there. Mm. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, can it? Why is there a floppy disk on the dock? Don't mock it. This is like system settings. open source at its best. It actually is pretty good. Uh, and and so it's open and um, you can source it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. Uh, um, IT professionals. You can change the power settings. Yes, you can. <laughs> So and I've, the appearance. But you can't change the screen resolution in Hyper-V. No. Which is pretty dog piss poor. And it, I've got a nice background on mine now and it looks pretty swanky. Screen display. I'm going to have to change mine. Where is that? Um, uh, settings. Yeah. Appearance. Appearance, which is at the top here. Come on, we're professionals here. We know what we're doing. I'm going to go for that one as well. Look at that. That is looking second to none. <laughs> the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Well, uh, Linux is pretty good. There's even a recycle bin down the bottom here. Have you seen this? Oh, look. It's called look. the rubbish bin. The rubbish bin. And you still have the desktop, documents, downloads. But we can't change the resolution. Whoa. Apparently, you have to activate the Hyper-V integration services. Let's activate it then. I don't know how to do it. Neither do I. <laughs> you have to edit some file, which is like everything that's wrong with Linux. Just make it easy for people. <laughs> yeah. Why can't I just click something? 
Windows 10 works pretty well, though. It does. So let's go back to Windows 10 and enjoy the Windows 10 experience. You just, you just swipe all in. settings. And you can go down to all settings. And then it takes you to the control panel. And it's all swanky and fast and works. It's, it's, I want to change the resolution. I'll just go here, look, look. So if we change the... How do you change the resolution? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think... Display uh, settings. <laughs> how do you change the resolution? Uh, it's not in personalization. Is it ease of act? No, system. It's got to be system. Mm, yeah, definitely system. Display? No. Advanced. Oh, here, advanced display settings. That's ridiculous. That's like 16 steps to get to. I am going 1024, 768. Now, that is what I'm chatting about. That is the resolution no, of a king. On right? Linux, if I type resolution. <laughs> We get, <laughs> we get, look, it's this easy. Shizzle. That's where Linux beats Windows then. Uh, Linux, Linux now fits on my screen with 1024 <laughs> resolution. <laughs> oh, oh. It fits, yeah, that looks great. It fits a bit better, actually. Yeah. Um, I seem to have lost my cursor. Oh, no, it's back. There we go. That is really good. So I'm going to go back now and just change that resolution back up to the highest. It won't let me change it back. Do you know um, what would be nice when you lose your cursor if they did the El Capitan? <laughs> you know in El Capitan <laughs> in the next Mac OS. You're going to shake it like that and it grows big. That's what she said. That's, when you shake things they grow big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scientifically proven Just don't leave it out in the cold. <laughs> don't do that because um, it doesn't get big then. Next um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm actually quite concerned. I can't change the resolution. I can't make it grow bigger again. I mean, smaller again. <laughs> it's stuck. It's I can change it here. Right, back to the... Can you do that? Yes, I probably... Oh, I don't know. Let's try it. In Linux, you can do that. If you have oh, the integration services there, working. There we go. Oh, yeah, we need the... How do you do that again? Oh, there we go, like that. Let's yeah. try it on Linux. There must be a screen... Oh, come on. This is working like you'd never oh. believe. Windows 10's good. I don't know how to do this anymore. The power button works. Oh, I don't want the power button. It I reboots. Want, I want... Obviously, Windows Movie Maker, we all need that. Swishy effect. Swashy. We've got Hyper-V, and obviously we have uh, the most important application on this tablet right now. Half-Life, the original. I'm going to complain about something now. Go on, do it. I've just put Firefox full screen in Linux. And... You know, the average user may not realise that to get it back, you've got to go up here. Go on, hit me but with But look, it. if you're just browsing, you think, how can I double click? Oh, you can. You can double click it. All right, I'll give them that. I'm going to go into this level now, and I'm going to baffle your minds. Okay. Would you like to see... Wait a second. Oh. Uh, uh, it works pretty well. Touch keyboard. I'm liking the look at touch keyboard. That's pretty swanky. The 100% battery icon at the bottom there. Brightness button, you click it and it changes. It changes. I can't, I can't get rid of the touch keyboard. Um. Oh, there we go, it's gone now. <laughs> Have you seen when you click on there? So the if you go down to the battery, passions. click on the battery button. Click on the battery. I can see. So you can click on brightness and it changes to 25%, 50, 75, and 100. It's pretty sweet. That's good, I like that. There's no oh, bar you can drag. Oh, that's nice. Uh, you've got the volume bar now. Click on the real tech volume bar, that's pretty funky. Oh. Makes some funky noises when you move it about. Loving I do like the notification area. That notification area is pretty sweet. Mac OS X has had that for a while. Why is it you've got more... <laughs> more... <laughs> yours, yours has more on it than mine, look. Well, I've seen that. What's that all about? Well... Why does yours have more options than mine? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you haven't got Bluetooth switched on. Maybe I'm just crap. Uh, and rotation lock and... and yeah, well, well, I haven't mean, got half the features you've have got. Have you done the updates? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I've done the you updates. Lying. I've got my keyboard going. I've, I've done the updates, let me just check. <laughs> wireless? Give me some wireless! You got to sell wireless, wireless, wireless connect. Oh, wh who's this? Jacob Billing GoPro Hero 3. Disgusting! Have you been stealing. Oh, yeah, there's a system hardware update, that might be why. I'm just installing that now. Ah, that could be it. Yeah. I think I've done that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I did it already, but I, Ooh, I don't know what that is. I like this, and I like when you put it down to a new desktop, it goes shrinky. Oh, it's shrinky. It, and you can just drop it on there and you get a new desktop. And it reduces down in size. And then it's not there on the new desktop. That is when you what? Shrink... <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe there's an app, an app for that it's, store. It's gone missing. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Obviously the most important application in Windows. Definitely the notepad. How'd you get it back? 
How do you get that out? Well, basically... You don't. You just close that desktop. Now you've deleted back. it, it's gone for life, I'm afraid. Why do you have to delete it to get it... Come on. Why can't you swap between... Look. You, you and... Look. New desktop. Why has it done that? Why? Look. Why? <laughs> why? why? Okay, I can drop it on the desktop and it's shrinking. Then it goes! <laughs> Two desktops I don't even realise. This is ridiculous. Oh, you can't even. Oh, you can close them as well. I don't think you do that. This is the first time I've played with it, so uh, that's what she said. Well, it's all right. At least we know that Windows Movie Maker actually works now. I'll give it a very weak ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yeah. I have to say, actually, Windows Ten is very good, and I hope it does take off well. So I'm going to give it a good review, based on the fact that it is very functional and it's easy to use and it's fast and I do like it a lot I all think right. it's pretty swanky alright yeah alright 3D Builder you don't like about it well the fact you get 3D Builder with it that's pretty piss poor I'm joking I that's good I tried that cone shape let's get myself a bulldozer out let's do it there's a bulldozer look at that oh yes I oh. do like the new yeah. yeah I like my computer now I think that's pretty cool it's pretty swanky that you can see everything in there nicely Large icons, and then when you double click them, it goes to small icons. Why? No. We don't want no large icons. Why does it keep that? Where's. How, how are you getting large icons? I can't even see. Oh, yes, I can. The view menu. Oh, they are super large now. Change the resolution. You want to Linux? That is broken. Not working. That's Russian. <laughs> Yet. Stop rushing. And mine's working too, have you seen this everybody? Ubuntu is working brilliantly. I love Linux. Linux loves me. That's working great. Even Firefox is like, no! I love this. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, you, how could that connection be untrusted if it... No, I'm not accepting this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to have to conclude there and say that Windows 10 is good, but Ubuntu is obviously better. Uh, definitely, and if it had integration services, <laughs> it would knock the socks off you all. <laughs> we'll see you later, guys. Take care for now. See ya! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? How do we fix things? Come on! Giganet.